Hello students, today I'm going to help you to set up your RS Logix 5000 software. So the first thing we're going to do is double click on our RS Logix 5000 icon, noting the versions that come up. And it's still booting up. Okay, if you get a tip here, you can just close that. Okay, first thing we do is we go to File, and we hit New. And we have to select the processor that we're going to be using for our controller. Ours is a 1756 L55, and if you're not sure of that, you go back to RS Links, and you look at your processor, 1756 L55, right there. So we're okay with that. The revision of it is revision 15, and if you're not sure of that, then you right-click on this in RS Links, and you hit Device Properties, revision 15.3. So we'll close that minimize that and we're going to call this my first config okay what slice chassis do we have we have a seven slot and our processor is located in slot two of the chassis hit OK says I want to replace that and that's because I already have created this once before so we'll overwrite that file and it's building our structure tree right now and this is our structure tree okay this is our IO configuration so we're gonna right click on here and we're gonna hit new module What's in our slot one? Well, if we come over here and we click here on the back plane, slot one has a 1756 OB16D. So I'm going to come here to digital. I'm going to find a 1756 OBD. At least I think that's what it was. No, it's a we need this one, 1756IB16D, because we need to configure slot 0. So we're going to choose the 1756IBD, hit OK. Major revision, we need to find that out. So we right click on the module, and we hit Properties. Revision is 2.6. So we'll change that to revision 2, hit OK. Now we'll give it a name. We'll call this slot 1 inputs. Actually it's slot 0, sorry about that and we make sure that the slot is slot 0 and hit OK. The revision was revision 2, so we're going to hit OK. Okay, these are some default settings and we'll talk about these later on, so we're just going to hit OK for now. And now we have a module in slot 0, so we do it again. We right click, hit new module, we go to RS links to see what's in slot 1, 1756OB16D. So I can do it by this way. Find 1756OB. Whoop, we're going to have the dash in there. 16D and hit enter. And it comes right up for me. So I can close this window now and then just double click on that one. Revision of that one is 2 as well. But if we wanted to double check, we go here, we right click on it, and we hit properties. 2.3, so we're going to hit close, so we're okay with that. Hit OK. 
And now we're going to call this output slot 1 and hit OK. Same thing here. We're going to keep the basic default information. We'll talk about that later. So now we have one in slot 0 and slot 1. If we go back to RS links, we can see what's in slot 2, which is the actual PLC. We've already done that one, so we don't need to do it again. Now we're going to go to slot 3, which is 1756IF6I. We hit properties to find out the revision, 1.9. So we remember this here, 1756IF6I. So we right click on configuration, do new module. It's easier to just click find and do 1756-IF and hit enter. And that brings up all of those. We'll close this now. And ours was an IF6I. Hit OK. Major revision was 1. If we go back to RS links, 1.9. So we can close that one. And we'll call this inputs slot 3. We'll leave the revision alone since it matches and hit OK. We'll keep the default information here. Hit OK. So we go back to RS links and see what's in slot 4. 1756OF6V. So now back to RS logics. Right click, new module. We can do find which is a 1756 dash, and if you don't remember what it was, you go back and look, OF6V. Hit Find Next. They all come up. You can close this one. And ours was an OF6VI. Hit OK. And we'll call this slot 4 outputs. Revision is the same. And hit OK. And default information, we'll change this later. Just hit OK for now. OK, so we're up to slot 4. We go back to RS links. We find slot 5, which is our Ethernet card. So we're going to remember this number here. 1756 ENBT. So we're going to right click, new module. And we know this is communication, so we can click on that tab there. Scroll down till we find the 1756 ENBT. Hit OK. Well, what's the major revision? Well, we would notice that when we first powered it on. So we're going to just go with 2 for now, and we may have to change that later. And we'll hit OK. OK, and we'll call this the communications. So just comms is fine. And here it says the IP address. Well, we need to look at our communication card to see what that is. Mine happens to be 10. 10, 10, and usually the last number is the difference. And I'm looking at the module. Mine is 40. And hit OK. And we'll just go with the default information. And we've got one last card to do, which is our motion card. It's a 1756 MO3. So I'm going back to RS Logics. I'm going to right click, hit New Module. And this was Motion. So I click the plus tab here. Find a 1756 MO3. 
hit OK. And we'll just call this motion. And we can find the revision of that by going to RS Links, right clicking on it, hit Device Properties, and it's 15.5. So we can close that. Back to RS Logics, and we'll just go with version 15 here. And it is in slot 6, so we'll hit OK. We'll go with the default information for now, hit OK. So now we have configured our I.O. configuration. A lot different than RS500 because we have to go through and add each and every individual module. So now that the card has been, or the rack has been identified, we can go up here and we can download a program. So we go to communications, we go to who active, and we must drill down through our card, so if it comes up like this, we have to expand the plus button. And if it comes up like that, then we have to expand that plus button. This is our communications card. And the back plane must open all the way up, and we're looking for the processor, which is in slot 2. Okay, we can set the project path, so that'll be done for us all the time. And then we can download. Asks you, are you sure you want to download? Hit yes. And do you want to change it back to run mode? Yes. Okay, and we notice that run mode in RS5000 is up here in the corner. If we click the down arrow on the green box here, we can tell it to go offline, we can tell it to go to program mode, or we can tell it to go to test mode. So now you can see that we're spinning here. We're actually online now, and we are actually ready to create a program if we wanted to. So those are the first things to do. So while you're here, might be a good idea for you to go through and click on each one of these items over here in the ladder structure to get familiar with them. So this is one thing that we'll have to do every week is go through and configure all of our I.O. and make sure that we don't have any issues. Now we see that this says I.O. is not responding. That's because we didn't go through and really set up all of the motion here. So for now that'll be okay. We'll take care of that later on. So hope this helps you in setting up your backplane and doing your I.O. configuration. First thing you're always going to want to do is go to RS Links. And remember, by right-clicking on each one of these cards, you can find the additional information, such as the revision number, what you're going to need. All right. We'll talk to you later. Thank you.